Welcome to all for you, Kisara. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. But before we jump right in and get started, I just want to take a moment and say hi and welcome to new subscribers. I am so, so, so happy to have you on board with us. Thank you for becoming part of the all for you, Kis tribe. As always, it is an absolute honor and blessing to read for each and every single one of you. That being said, we're going to jump in. Oh, that page of pentacles didn't want to come up. We're going to leave them out there. Let's see, what else do we have for the collective spirit? What do we have? Ooh, the chariot. Heading towards fulfillment. Um, I really love that. I feel like I hear the novice when I touch the card. So I, I feel like stepping towards fulfillment in work. It's like wanting to do something that feels uh, fulfilling on all levels, not just filling up your pockets, you know, not just monetarily, but finding something that feels right in the heart space as well, something you can get behind. Um, I feel like it's going to be really what you're looking for. I feel like I'm talking to someone who's not quite stepped in a direction just yet when it comes to what they truly want in a job or um, if it's making a business move, something like that. I, I, that's what I'm kind of getting here. I heard I've been sleeping on myself. So it's like not knowing what you're capable of or not realizing how powerful you are or what you could accomplish. Yeah, we, we do have the five of pentacles. So I don't know if you were in a season of or coming out of a season of lack mentality is kind of what it feels like. Yeah, and you're stepping into your emperor, which I really love. And I feel like it's like nobody else is gonna believe in me unless I believe in me. And I feel like that's the kind of energy that's coming in here. I feel like you are moving to a greener shore. You are taking some mental swords with you, but I feel like they'll fall off along the way. Um, I feel like if there are still mind blocks about you being your boss, uh, you being the boss of your life, you being the one in charge of what you can and can't accomplish, you get to say, right? I feel like there has to be an end and a new begin again, an end to the old way of being and the old way of seeing things. Yeah, like everything, like nothing's coming my way. Um, like I never get good enough offers. I feel like there's something along those lines. Yeah, you're stepping into this um, vibrant energy, this intuitive, you're moving through your intuition, your heart space, I feel like, and you're making really powerful moves at this time. I really love this. Um, now we do have this two of cups here. Um, and then putting in the work. So I don't know if this is a new person that's brought in this new lease on life energy for you or it made you see that you can accomplish more. Um, it could be that or as soon as you get busy um, making your life what you want it to be, becoming your own emperor in your life, um, love comes on in and adds another facet to uh, the journey here. Um, yeah, look, we do have the king of wands right there and then happiness. So I feel like you've got a real true match coming in as well. Um, it's like when things start going right, they really start going right. Um, and I feel like for, I hear for a long time they were going left. So it's like, I feel like things are getting really good or they're about to in your life. I feel like you're gonna start taking uh, the initiative to really just be your most powerful, powerful self every day. It's like no more standing in that defeat. I feel like this is a brand new chapter, a brand new cycle, and I feel like we're just going to leave that defeat, that energy of defeat in the past. Because um, I feel like, yeah, it might take a lot of work and you might have to fight to get that top spot and whatever it is that you want to do. But I feel like you have that power and that passion to work your way up or to become. Um, waiting around for things never did you any good. Um, waiting for things to come to you. So now you're you're in your emperor, you're taking that initiative and you're taking the action steps towards what it is that you want. Um, yeah, we've got that moon in reverse. So it's seeing with clarity what you want in your life and what you don't. I feel like, yeah, sometimes we have to take a little bit of the burden with us, but um, 
sometimes it's harder to start off as well and you carry a lot with you when you're starting something new. But I feel like um, you can see uh, what your logical action moves are going to produce. And so you're willing to carry the burden in the beginning to get to where you want to get to. I love it. We have to go off in search of what makes us feel fulfilled and happy. Um, and I feel like whatever it is that you choose is not only going to make your pockets fat, but I feel like it's also going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled. Um, this is the type of work I hear my heart can get behind it. Um, so you're doing something you really love or really feels connected to you in the heart space. Um, I really love that. I really, really do. I think you deserve to have that in your life. And I feel like you deserve to have the light and the love in your life as well. Um, it might just all be coming at once. It's like all of a sudden the cornucopia starts raining down and then we've got all of these things. I feel like you did have to start from ground zero. You started from the bottom, worked your way to the top, and now all of these good things are coming in for you. You do something, you do some kind of work, or you will be, that makes you happy. Yeah, look, we've got that 10 of cups lifestyle here. Yeah, you've got love and work. Um, that you're going to be feeling really connected to. I really love it. I feel like it's racing in now and it's gonna be a very stable offer. Look at that. Would you look at this? Wow. Wow, we could just keep going. Um, Yeah, and then commitment. So it's like working, building together, creating that solid foundation. We've got that emotional happiness. We've got the tens here. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the higher fence. So it's that commitment, commitment to self, commitment to your relationship that's coming in. I feel like um, there's going to be a lot on your plate, but I feel like you have all the tools necessary to kind of make it go in the direction you want it to go in. Um, Things are going to start really looking up. I feel like if this reading is for you, you've got a lot of good coming in. I feel like all it takes is you deciding that you want to be the main character in your own life. Um, and I really love that for you. I feel like you deserve that. I feel like you deserve to have a life that you can be proud of and that you can be happy about. And sitting around waiting for it wasn't making it come in. You had to decide that you wanted to go for whatever it is that feels right for you. I kind of really love it. Um, you've got that fast movement coming in with that opportunity. You've got it on the brain. You know what you want. I feel like you rested up well enough, and now you're coming in towards it. I really love it. Wow, wow. Good energy. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. I've got this card deck see what we've got. All right, spirit. What do we have? Sleepless. Hmm. This could be you or someone that, that you're um, dealing with or soon to be dealing with. Our love is real. Thinking, stinking, thinking. Okay. I do feel insecurities off the bat. Um, I do feel like whoever this person is, whether this is you or someone you're dealing with, it's, it's never trouble beyond either side of the reading. We're all here on a learning journey, so don't feel bad about getting in where you fit in, okay? Um, we, we don't worry about all that extra here. Um, we just like to find the, the route that works best for us, right? Uh, no matter what stage in life we're at. I do feel like there are some insecurities. There's Knowing that a certain love is real between you and a certain person and thinking about it. Um, and feeling like you need that person. Um, you might, yeah, wanting and needing. I feel like there's definitely some distance involved here. Somebody's on a mission though. Um, I hear come hell or high water. So it's like, Somebody really is determined to make this happen. Like I said, this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. This energy could come in with an apology. I do feel like, yeah, it's something to do with expectations. Someone was feeling like, like 
maybe your vision of them, like they couldn't live up to your vision of them or you couldn't live up to the way someone saw you or the way you felt that they saw you. Maybe they put you on a pedestal um, and made you feel like, well, you had to look flawless or you had to be flawless. And let's face it, um, we're all beautifully flawed, right? So that I can see how that would be a source of worry and anxiety. It's like trying to live up to what is in reality an impossible standard, right? Um, I feel like just giving it the best you could, you were hopeful that it would kind of pan out. But I feel like maybe you felt like you were falling short or this person felt like they were falling short. I feel like this person did give you the floor to be your authentic self. And I feel like they did make you feel like you were your best self around them. I feel like you felt like you could become that or you could be that around this person. Um, I feel like there was a little fear and I feel like someone ran away because we do have the wait card. It's like, wait, if you just wait right there, let me run off and make myself what I think you need or what I think you want from me. So that way, when I come back in, I feel comfortable. It's like, it, it wasn't the lack of want that made someone run. It was wanting something too much that made them run. Does that make sense to you? They might communicate this to you very soon, that they still feel a spark. They still feel an intense passion when it comes to this connection or intensity when it comes to the draw to this connection. I feel like something within them makes them feel like this connection is blessed. Please forgive me. I am jumping back and forth. I do feel like I have those of you in the collective that could be on either side. It almost feels like a 50-50, so hopefully you're following me here. I'm sorry if this is getting a little confusing. I feel like you could be that inspiration. That might be something that they haven't told you before that... Um, Maybe your faith in the way you move and in your spirituality is really beautiful. It really speaks to this person. The way that you move, they know where it comes from, that power that you carry, where it comes from for you specifically. And that might have been something that they never told you about, that they were interested in maybe knowing more about you in that aspect. Um, I feel like there was a lot that this person didn't get to explore with you. And I feel like that's what really hurts. It's like, it wasn't that there was a lack of want. There was so much want that they almost missed their opportunity. We've got, I miss you and afraid. Yeah, this person was just afraid. Yes, insecure, spirit on deck. That they, they didn't have enough or they weren't enough. Um, they might be coming in very soon with a message of love. They might be a little doubtful that you would really be open to it, but they are coming in soon. They really have healing on the brain. They want to change things between the two of you. I feel like there's been a great amount of silence. Um, they still have, when they picture their future, they still have you in mind. Um, they still feel like you're their person. Um, and I don't know that they're wrong or right, but I feel like they just have to come in and really give it a chance. Yeah, they, they have no doubt that you're their person. Um, they're so very passionate about you. The energy to me feels really good. Um, it feels like someone who is determined to make a change or fix a situation. Yeah, they're being guided by divine to follow their bliss. And their bliss is you, collective. Or this person is your bliss. Um, again, get in where you fit in. These are general. So, you know, you could be on either side. Let's see. Anything else, Spirit, before we drop this? I want that, whatever it is. Oh, twin flame signs. Um, this person's got that high-level soulmate connection, this twin flame energy going on here. I think the time apart was absolutely necessary, although it is something they sit in regret for because they feel like they have missed their opportunity. Um, they had to let go of fear and they had to take the lessons that they needed to learn in order to have the opportunity for the new beginning. They want to be helped by you or they want to hold you. Um, they do feel that depth of love for you. You are their world. Um, and I feel like they've just waited until it felt right or 
they had to wait until it felt right to come back in or come in your direction. So that is what we got there. Let's see. Yeah, it, it feels good to me. I mean, I feel like, you know, this could be something. Now, as always, I'm just the reader. I just let you know what is coming so you can make a well-informed decision about what you want for yourself. Um, but to me, the energy feels good. Like this could be a brand new solid beginning uh, with a solid offer, right? Um, whereas before, uh, there was a whole lot of fear involved. And um, I almost want to say... Um, so much fear that this person couldn't really justify jumping in in that full energy to give it a go, right? This person is having sleepless nights and I feel like in order to want to put these sleepless nights to bed, they definitely have to um, come in and give it a go, right? All right, let's see what we've got here. All right, what do we have for this collective spirit? All right, we have that busy bee, the dolphin, the bear, and the resilience. Okay. I love it. Um, we've got some great energy here. I do feel like this is about you, Collective. Um, I feel like life's about to get busy. That playful energy that you have, I feel like Spirit's almost saying, don't forget to apply that to even the work that you do. It's like everything can be fun. You can make it fun or um, add a touch of lighthearted energy to your busy work, um, things that you need to get done. And um, it's like find joy in everything. Um, you know, if you're washing your dishes at the end of the day, make it fun. Put on some music. Dance around your kitchen as you clean up. Um, add, inject that joy and that fun, that childlike fun into it. Um, make time to indulge in certain things that make your heart happy. So whatever those things are for you. Um, there was something, oh, I, I just got an image of like a coloring book or colored pencils or painting or art. It's like, if, if that makes you happy at the end of the day, make some room for that. Um, it, it really does help you mentally and emotionally when you um, inject play into the situation just because we've gotten older doesn't mean we have to stop having fun um fun should be a natural part of pretty much everything you do that's the way we can get through life in a really beautiful way um so yeah i hear a touch of warmth a touch of happiness um and i'm seeing someone light their fall scented candles so what if you're early um does your pumpkin spice make you feel nice do it. <laughs> it does for me. And I, I have no problem lighting a pumpkin spice candle or um, buying myself some pumpkin spice coffee and um, enjoying that warmth and that uh, happiness that comes with it any time of the year, right? Um, so I feel like you've been really resilient and spirit saying, yeah, you've got a lot of good things coming in what you're really doing is applying magic to your life. Um, it's finding the magic in everything, finding the joy in everything. Look, there are going to be people who spit craziness at you. There's still going to be those things that sting or burn or, you know, that don't feel good. It is up to you to inject your joy into your life because if you don't put it there, you could go long spans of time without it. And that isn't a healthy way to be, right? Um, you're in charge of your own happiness. And I feel like Spirit's saying that. It's like, if you add some magic to it, Spirit will double that. Like, it's like, oh, you like fun times. Okay, universe sees that. They're going to inject some more, right? We like fun, so we're going to give more options for it, right? I just feel like it's up to you to get in that optimistic frame of mind and um, look at everything in life this way. Yeah, there are some people who try to lay pitfalls and traps for you. Sometimes people just don't like it when you smile. Um, they don't like to see you happy because they can't find it in themselves. Just know that the way people react to your happiness has nothing to do with you. Nothing, not, not anything at all. Um, it has everything to do with them and their own unhappiness. Um, they have to get to a point where they see they need to make changes like you did to find your own happiness, right? Um, 
you might have a lot of eyes on you as you walk through the, your days. Um, just genuinely being that happier person. I hear happy-go-lucky, which I love to hear. That's great energy. Yeah. Soft, kind, gentle, happy-go-lucky. And I feel like there are a lot of people who might be taking notes trying to figure out how they can apply certain things. Yeah, you know why? Because that energy that you stand in, that bit of magic that you bring to your life and to your whatever it is that you're doing um, in all areas of your life brings abundance. Um, there are a lot of people who want to be part of your pack, who want to come in closer, um, who want to see what you're up to. Now, you could be on a platform. Um, every time I see this card, I think of all eyes on you. So you could be up on a platform setting an example or um, not necessarily trying to set an example, although maybe for some. Um, but I feel like people are, you, whether you try to or not, you're leading by example. Um, people want to be close to you. You might have a lot of uh, influx of subscribers if you're on a platform. If not, and this is just like, I'm just little old me, um, it's like you might have people coming in who really want to be your friend. They really just want to be in your energy, the way you move. You you add fun. You add laughter, um, a lighthearted energy that you bring along with you to the party wherever you're going. You know, life's the party. So it's like whatever you're doing, you bring that in. And people really enjoy your light. Um like I said, you don't have to be up on a platform. Sometimes the way you shine for the people around you makes you that powerhouse that you are. You're you're not less worthy of divine's attention and light um, because you're not on a platform, right? You can be just about anyone and you could be, um, I want to say a divine favorite. I feel like we're all favorites, but you know what I mean. Um, just because you have a platform or not doesn't mean that you're above anybody else. Um, we don't do that spiritual narcissism here. Um, I feel like every soul is really, really important. If you're here, you're meant to be here. Um, I feel like you connect people or you will start connecting people. I feel like there's a, a, a grand purpose for this. I feel like spirit watches over you as well. What you do, the laughter and the joy you bring helps people get through their rough moments. You might not even know it. Um, it's like you might not even think yourself to be um, a spiritual healer in any way. Um, I'm hearing it comes in differently. So it's like, okay, say you do have a platform and your messages aren't always fluffy and light and filled with love. Sometimes they're blunt and they're honest and they're true, right? And sometimes it hurts and sometimes we laugh about that because it's human, right? We go through these really tough experiences and sometimes the only thing you can do is laugh about them, right? Laugh until you cry and then get through it, right? Um, so I feel like you might not consider yourself to be like an incarnated for grand purpose, um, but you are, and I am seeing that here. I feel like um, just because you don't move like everybody else doesn't mean that you don't have that divine light uh, backing you as you move forward. Uh, it's there. I just think it's really funny. Um, I love this. I, I really do. And I'm not saying that to everybody. Some of you might be light and fluffy, and that's okay. I myself tend to be light and fluffy. That is where I enjoy being. Um, do I have to be tough sometimes? Yes. Do I have to roar sometimes? Absolutely. Um, but I feel like um, the messages that you give, they help people through their sadness. So like I said, whether you're just the friend and you have your own friend group and people are gravitating towards you because they want to be part of your energy or you're up on a platform and you are encouraging lots of people to uh, laugh about their hardships and find themselves as they go. You know, like I feel like it's all needed out there. And I know I've talked about this before, but spirit tries to let you know that it's like we're all here for grand purpose. Just because my purpose doesn't look like your purpose doesn't mean it's anything less of a purpose than, you know, what you think, right? I don't know if I got that out right, but I think you know what I mean. At least I hope so anyway. Um, um, I feel like all of it's important. Individuality is so, so important. Your authenticity is so, so important. And I feel like that shines through here as well. 
it does have something to do with a spirituality and I hear um, something maybe coming in it's like all of a sudden uh, people start gravitating towards you it might be just like yeah it's by divine design um, this web is meant to be strengthened your pack is meant to grow so expect that coming up it might be something that just happens out of the blue you turn around and you've got, maybe got a slew of new sub subscribers or um you know a bunch of people who just all of a sudden want to hang out it's like or they're all asking you to go out and have fun with them go different places and um, meet different people right i just feel like all of a sudden yeah look it's spirit on deck that web is growing and expanding um it's all for grander purpose Look, I say it all the time, we're going to come across people who don't want to see us laugh, don't want to see us smile, don't want to see us shine. Um, again, it has nothing to do with you. Don't let them stop you um, from sharing your heart, sharing your kindness, um, the depth of who you are and the heights of who you are as a person, your authenticity. Don't let someone stop you or make you hide or omit pieces of yourself. Um, you're not here to kind of make everybody comfortable a lot of you are here to kind of shake things up um in different ways so some of you will do it through uh love and softness and others of you will shake it up with your uh wild antics and that is all absolutely perfect um that's all part of our spiritual journey spirit is saying there's no wrong way to do it um and i feel like that's what you need to know you're not apart from this energy or you're not um lacking the backing from this spiritual forward movement it's part of you um each and every single one of us no matter how we show up right i really love it get in where you fit in is what i hear um and that's what spirit's having you do there are, okay, so just readers, for example. There are so many different kinds of readers. We all do things just a little bit differently. Um, and I know I've said this before, people will hop from reader to reader to reader. Sometimes they'll hop away from you and then they'll hop back later. Um, everybody's just trying to get in where they fit in on their spiritual journey and find the message that resonates with them. So it's like, I do wanna say again, don't worry about the numbers. Um, the grander purpose behind it all is drawing in the right people who need you when you offer the message that they need. Um, that's the grander purpose here. So it's like, I almost want to say we're not in competition with each other as much as, um, well, if you use that as a driving force and you want to be competitive because it pushes you forward, utilize that, go with it. Um, but I feel like really, we're never really in competition with anybody else. We're all offering something different. All of our energies are so different. And this is just up on the platform, but apply this knowledge to life, right? Um, we're only really in competition with ourselves, trying to be better than we were yesterday, trying to get further than we were the day before, right? That's the energy here. Yeah. And spirit's on deck with that. Spirit's on deck with every single one of us. That's the message that's coming through today. Spirit just wants you to hear it loud and clear. And I hear be loud and proud if that's who you are. Um, be quiet and subdued if that's who you are. It's like, just, just be you. Every bit of every one of us uh, that puts ourselves out there in our authenticity is worthy and needed, right? Um, we're all supposed to fit in somewhere. We're all to help people move forward in some way. Everybody's messages are important. Um, I really love this. I feel like you might have a lot of new light coming in. I almost want to say this earthworm, you could have been in a cocoon stage, maybe moving slower, but I feel like you're going to come out shining as well on the other side. Is there anything else, Barry? Anything else? Yeah, we've got that new tuned in, tapped in, turned up energy coming in. I did actually take yesterday off only, um, and 
the energies weren't right. I tried to get a reading out and it just wasn't coming through. And I had known actually kind of before I sat down that the energy wasn't exactly perfect, but I was hopeful I was going to be able to get something out. And I noticed that the energies were switching over. New energies were kind of ushering in and trying to assimilate. And by me kind of interrupting it, I was only picking out sparse pieces that would have been helpful. And I feel like now today, everything's flowing a little bit better. So there was a very recent energy switch over. You may be feeling that. It may just open you up that much more to your path, your purpose. So that's what we've got here. Just be you. Enjoy being you. I really love it. All right. Let's see. Do I want to go here? Do I want this? I think I'm going to go here. All right. This is what we've got. Where are we? Okay. I want that, whatever it is. Broken. Okay. Confession. Unsatisfied and asking forgiveness. Okay. 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 I feel like someone may be feeling broken because they missed an opportunity. I do feel like you would be that missed opportunity. I'm going to try and keep this as clear as I can. But again, this is one of those energies that could be flip-flopped. I might flip-flop in the middle of it. Um, I do feel like there are going to be souls on both sides of the coin here, both flips of the coin. So this could be you or someone that uh, wants to be dealing with you. I feel like this person is on the outskirts, has not stepped in yet, or will very recent. Uh, it would be very, very recent if so. Um, this person is feeling broken and sad about, um, the situation itself, maybe what they've created, what they added to it. It might not be all one person's fault. It hardly ever is. It takes two people to really ruin something, right? Or two people to really make it go well. Um, I feel like this person was confused and maybe they ran off. Um, they were maybe not satisfied with what they thought was being offered or what they felt they could offer. Um, and I feel like they want to come back in and ask for forgiveness. They might have been very detached at the time that they were dealing with you. I feel like they see it now that you're one of those people that's just irreplaceable. They can't find you anywhere. They can't find you in anyone. Um, and I hear there's no one quite like you. And... I feel like this person is looking back and thinking, I really messed up. I really left something behind that I didn't want to leave behind. It's like I just didn't know that until then. Um, neglected. I feel like this person neglected to give you what you needed, neglected to tell you what they were feeling. I feel like you might have felt like this person wasn't all that interested. And I feel like parts of them felt you and were interested I don't think they were ever uninterested. I just feel like there were other energies that kind of took precedence over what they were feeling for you. It's like maybe they really needed to do some healing. Um, they really needed to work with this detached energy that they were facing. Um, they were holding back. It could have been fears. Um, you know, maybe they felt unappreciated in the effort that they were putting in or they felt like it didn't make a difference what they were giving because it wasn't enough um, or that you wouldn't care. I do feel like there was there was something going on here. There could have been a third party interference. Now, this could be um, this could be someone who was trying to interfere or this could be something that was interfering. Like the third party could be a thing. It could have been work. Um, it could have been money. It could have been um, friends or whatever. It could be a little different for everybody. I feel like this person didn't give you enough of their time, their effort, their energy. I feel like that's something else that they're really upset about. I feel like this person is the chaser in this situation. It's like they might have been the runner, but now they've become the chaser. I feel like not, not really chasing you or pounding down your door or anything like that. I just feel like maybe this person keeps tabs on you. They may watch from afar. They may tell you about it in a conversation that, that they feel your absence. They miss you. They might be telling you in a conversation that they felt unworthy, that maybe um, the little disagreements that the two of you had made them feel hopeless 
about the situation. Um, now they're kind of seeing it a little differently. I feel like this person has done the work. They've released some of the heaviness that they were carrying. Could have been some habits that they were carrying as well that they had to release. You know, I'm hearing it all stems from habits. Um, so for some of you, not all of you, this person may have had some toxic habits. Oh, I hear deal breakers. So for some of you, this person had very toxic habits that um, could have been addictions, uh, could have been too much drink, um, could have been um, something other, uh, substance, right, that they were addicted to. And um, that might have been something that they didn't want you to get close to or they, they held back because they didn't want to burden you with that. I feel like it it was stemming from insecurity was the reason that they utilized those substances as tools, if you will, um, to, I don't know, make themselves feel better or to numb something within themselves because they couldn't afford. Yeah, it was overwhelming. They couldn't feel all of it. That was their shadow. Um, okay. And now I hear I don't live there anymore. So this person really wants to be in something with you. I feel like they may have held back extra long. And this is why. If this person had some type of uh, toxic habits in the past, I don't know if they think that stepping towards you and trying to expose those things, it's like they want to be loved in their entirety. They want to be loved for who they are in their fullness. And it's like, even with the mistakes that they made in the past, even with the life that they led in the past, um, they don't live there anymore and they've done the work, but they want to be accepted for not only who they are in this now moment, but who they've been too, because it matters. Um, and I feel like you loving all of them and them being able to be transparent with you is a big thing. Um, is a big thing in their mind and they feel like you have, they might have escaped because they didn't want you to see it. Now they wanna come back because they wanna have a new chapter. They wanna open the book. Um, they gave themselves space that they needed. Um, they needed time to think, needed time to process, needed time to heal. And I feel like they might not have run in that other direction because of that. I think it might have been an ego thing. It bruised their ego to think that you wouldn't accept them for um, who they were in their fullness. But I feel like they want to mend that now. They want to they want to divulge those secrets. They feel why? Because they feel that soul tie. They they are starting to love themselves. I feel like they see that you love yourself and you set healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries are not. Uh, it's like. I hear she built the castle walls very high. Now, I feel like in the beginning when you're just stepping into um, that time period where you're setting up your healthy boundaries, sometimes we do uh, lift the walls higher than they need to be. But I feel like that's part of the learning process, really. It's like knowing how to adjust those, knowing what's healthy and what's not. And I feel like maybe you were actually in a point where you were adjusting your boundaries. That person may have viewed your boundaries as being the castle walls that were too high to scale, right? Again, I feel like this is more than one person to heal a situation, more than one person to create a situation as well. Um, so there, there is, I feel like this person wanted to come in and once, yeah, there was damage done. There's no denying that. But just because there was damage of the past doesn't mean it can't be healed. There's still chemistry here and this person still wants the opportunity for a reunion. They're hoping that you understand. Maybe they want to, they want you to understand that they do view the opportunity with you as a missed one. Um, that they missed out on, it's like what I should have. I didn't act when I should have. You're what I should have had in this life. Um, and I feel like there were all sorts of reasons as to why it could have been that this person held back. For some of you, it was toxic habits. For some of you, it was fear. Um, so all different 
reasons, but I feel like now it's coming back into play. Now um, it's like I, I hear the playing field has been evened out. So this is a, someone that would uh, probably work with you now versus move against you. And this person is very hopeful that um, there might still be an opportunity. It's like they feel like they missed out, but maybe just maybe they didn't. Maybe there's still an opportunity yeah, for some, I just saw dishonesty and regret. So dishonesty and regret. Um, and I feel like that could be something of the past as well. It says, by lying, I ripped us apart. I wish that I wish this never happened, right? You might have had to go through a long period of time where they were really grappling with the regret and, and the guilt or the sadness of the separation in this situation. This is a soul contract. Um, I feel like it is actually contracted to come back around. Now, I don't know if this is something that is, you know, meant to be or to go for the long haul. I feel like it could be different for everyone. And it would always be up to you whether or not you want to jump in. Like I said, I'm just the reader. I just let you know what's coming so you can make that well-informed decision for yourself. But I do see that this person has had some major growth, um, has had some major changes in their life. And I feel like, could this go in a good direction from the energy that I'm feeling? Yes, I do feel like it could be a good option. Um, so it's up to you but it is gonna come in. Um, I feel like this person, how you might recognize this person, they were holding back. I feel like you felt that. They were a little detached. Um, there was fear there. Um, you felt the connection. You might have felt unsatisfied just as much as this person did that the two of you maybe just couldn't get it together, couldn't get it to work. There was confusion surrounding about how much someone cared or um, I feel like both of you could have felt that way unsure of whether or not the other cared enough and both of you might have felt broken about the fact that you didn't think the other cared enough um so both of you probably just detached from this but then maybe you both realized that the other is irreplaceable could be something like that as well all right like i said gonna be a little different for everyone all right i'm gonna go in here I don't think I've done this one, but we're going to hop in. I think I just saw that clock at 4141, which was really interesting. All right, we have the ring. So commitment. I almost want to put this on its side. I feel like somebody might be making uh, changes to their belief system or what they previously believed. Um, I always kind of want to say never feel bad about switching things up when it comes to what you believe. Some things will work for us for a time and then we get to a new level in our lives and they don't work there or they don't feel right there or we take on new knowledge but that makes it feel like well what I felt before was probably not it um, and this feels better. It's like I, I feel like part of our spirituality and part of our growth is learning and unlearning things, being committed to ourselves, being committed to our path, our purpose, our journey, right? Um, committed to our hopes and dreams. Um, you could be a masculine energy, don't have to be, could just be that action oriented energy. And it's making that action move to make the necessary adjustments um, when it comes to faith or spirituality. I feel like maybe it's become a burden uh, to believe something that doesn't fit or to feel the weight of something that just doesn't feel right. I just feel like there's some sort of something that needs to change. And I feel like if I'm talking to you, you're aware of it. It's like, I believe there was something more. And now I feel like that's not the more that fits for me. Um, we do have counterpart energy here or someone coming into balance with self. Um, we do have that yin and yang energy. So I do want to say that nurturing energy. Um, don't be so hard on yourself. Like I said, I feel like some of these things that we go along with, they fit for a time. Uh, but they're not meant to stay and that's okay, right? We always have to just readjust our sails as we go along this journey because, um, things change, right? Yeah, 
I want to say it's in the inner house, the inner child, the, the happiness, um, the feeling that connection. I do feel like this has to do with your connection to divine or the way you see it, your connection to the universe or whatever it is your belief system entails. Um, I feel like you've come across what feels right for you. It might not be something that everyone else agrees with. We get there in the end. Um, your changing your beliefs might be something that weighs on other people's hearts. And I feel like maybe that's something that makes you feel like you feel stuck. It's like, okay, so whether you have a belief system or you don't, um, it could be um, atheist type energy. It's like the people around you don't believe in anything. And so you were raised not to believe in anything. This is just an example, right? Um, but then you come to a point where you have these really profound experiences and well, now you do believe, but you don't want to mention it to anybody, but you do not want to hide it at the same time. I feel like this is someone who wants to be very open about what they believe. Um, regardless of whether or not other people agree. Um, it's like, I don't want to hide that part of myself. I want to be true to myself. I want to be authentic. So I kind of get that being committed to self energy here. It's like committed to my journey. Um, and you know, your journey is going to look different from everybody else's. That's just the way it goes. Um, and a lot of people can't see what works best for you. That's something you have to feel your way through and be very confident in what it is that you feel, uh, whether it is something specific or a lack thereof, right? Um, I feel like you're Trusting in what it is that you believe brings you abundance. And I feel like it's been bringing you abundance. Whatever this is for you, it feels right. You're flowing better. You feel like you're in the flow of prosperity or you're stepping towards it. Maybe you're feeling more confident now about going towards those goals, those wishes, hopes, and dreams. You're on that path. You know you got a mountain to climb, but you're leaning on your faith or your newfound faith that is pushing you forward, propelling you into your future. There's a lot of maturity here. Um, there's growth here. There's power here and warmth here. Um, there's a new beginning here and I really love that you're letting go of things of the past, uh, ill feelings or, um, I feel like this was when you didn't have that connection as strongly as you have it now. Um, I feel like whatever it was that you were carrying with you that wasn't working for you, I feel like you held on to that for longer than you feel you should have. Um, but now, you know, it's like when you know better, you do better. Um, you've unlocked You've unlocked your passion for your future. Um, I feel like you let go of that painful situation, whatever it was, that holding back or that, and, and you took on your light, your understanding, your clarity. I feel like this is really beautiful. You're just coming into yourself. Like I said, everybody's um, look on spirituality can be vastly, vastly different, and none of them are wrong. I, that's how I feel. I feel like none of them are wrong. Does it work for you? Does it make you feel like a better person? Does it make you feel like your most authentic version of self? Um, do you shine? Do you feel good? Roll with that. Run with that. That's for you, right? Um, none of it's wrong. I love it. We have the dog, loyal. This is loyalty to self. I, I really kind of love it innocence there's an innocence here as well there's grounding yourself and deeply rooting yourself and being open to the flow of all that's coming in for you being excited about getting ready to explore this newfound connection this newfound um i want to say yeah spiritual connection is really helping you write your book uh write your survival guide um and things that you can share with others in the future showing them that you can make the change and you can be happy and you can find abundance. Um, the way you move becomes a page in somebody else's survival guide. You're here to show that it can be done. So maybe you were feeling oppressed and weighted down um, by something, a belief in the past. Um, I am hearing certain things. I'm not going to call any of them out because I feel like they could you know, they could trigger others um, saying that that's not how it is. And it's like, 
what I'm saying is whatever this belief was, it was detrimental to the self. It didn't resonate. It didn't feel right. And being forced to or feeling forced to stand in an energy that doesn't serve or doesn't suit doesn't help anyone, right? It's, it's not conducive to growth and happiness and being authentic. Um, and I feel like that's who this person needed to be. That's who you collective needed to be. Um, I feel like now we follow our heart. It's easy to choose the path when we know we follow our soul's inner compass. There could be a, a lot of different roads. We're just going to take the one that feels right. Um, we're going to take the one that that looks like the right opportunity for growth and expansion. I, I hear we tend to our own garden. We cull away what no longer resonates. And I feel like now that that situation is handled, I feel like anytime something comes up that just doesn't feel right, we're so quick to just move it away. It's like, it's okay if it's not for me. If that's for you and it works for you, I'm happy for you. But I have to do what works for me. This is really, really beautiful energy. Um, and I feel like you're very clever when it comes to um, picking out right away what works for you and what doesn't. It's like, we'll know. We'll feel it right away. I just kind of got a hitch in my my chest and I kind of felt like sad in a moment but then I felt kind of joyful right after that so I feel like it might be hard so maybe you haven't stepped in yet this could be a timeline thing you haven't decided to uh, say to this could be to family members like maybe you don't want to follow the same religious belief system or spiritual practices that they believe in something else might be better suited for you and I feel like just being able to say this is my path this is what feels right for me um, might work for you might make you feel heavy at first but then lighter than you've ever felt and I feel like it's necessary so I don't know if you've already done this or you're thinking about doing this you need to put an end to that sad or that painful feeling um, so if you haven't already then you've already put an end to that um, I want to say congratulations to you I feel like listen I myself had to go through that um, my belief system is vastly different from what my mother believes and from what my sister believes and what my brother's beliefs are. And we all kind of have a different version of our spirituality. Um, my mom grew up going to a Catholic school. So she was raised Roman Catholic. And um, as we were younger, you know, we were raised that way, um, my sister and my brother and myself. Um, and as we've grown, my sister has, you know, changed around, hopped around and tried to figure out what works best for her and I feel like I'm really lucky that my family is very understanding um because of what I do this is not you know something that the bible would agree with but to say that I'm not connected to what's good and what's light would be you know untrue and and I feel like my family knows that as well right um so I'm really blessed that I'm able to walk my path without question I feel like um was my mom a little sad probably probably a little sad when I said that this is my belief system and it differs from yours um not that I think not that I would ever say that the way she walks through things is not her power right or where her power stems from like I said I feel like nothing's actually wrong so long as it pushes us in the right direction to be the best version of ourselves I feel like it doesn't matter what you choose if you're connected to the light uh, you're connected to the light right so there's a lot of growth to be had. We had the younger female, we have the older female, we have the younger male to the older male. I feel like there's a lot of growth to be had here. This is a really beautiful, I feel like you're anchoring down into yourself. Um, yeah, you're really creating stable roots for yourself to grow. You might be really um, benefiting now or starting to benefit from all the changes you've made. And I feel like sometimes it's just a mindset. Um, but I do feel like this has to do with spiritual belief system or um, a connection to something more, something greater than self, right? Um, I think it's really beautiful. I feel like you've got a lot of luck coming in your direction, a lot of new blessings and growth and happiness and joys and love. Um, and it's all racing in for you because you're standing in your power. Um, that's what it comes down to. We're standing in that energy of creation. Um, we're in the flow. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Congratulations. I'm happy you found 
where you feel comfortable or if you're going that way, um, congratulations. I feel like you're going to find what you're looking for, where you feel comfortable or where you feel like you feel you can be your best self. Okay, I'm starting to repeat myself. Let's see. All right, what do we have here? Oop, we have a little, we have something that fell here. We have an R, all right. A D, an R, an L, an E, oop, an H, an E, an S, an L. I feel like I need more. A C, a W, an I. I hear, oh, I should have said it out loud. I said I heard wind, um, and it came out in my mind versus out of my mouth, but that's really fun. And B, um, did one fall? Did one fall? I thought one did. Okay, just a few more. Um, let's see what we've got here, because I feel like we need more. We have a U, an O, an I, a K, a U, an E, an I, an E, a Z, and an O. Okay. Let's see. Do we have any messages here? I hear him and her or his and hers. Oh, okay. It, it kind of felt like a wedding thing or a marriage thing. Okay. Um, if you are planning a wedding um, and you're planning on getting married, um... I know it can be a very stressful thing. Um, and I feel like he has ideas, she has ideas, and being fair to your partner is coupling those ideas together. Um, it can be a little stressful, no matter how well it's going, there is that pressure to make it what you want it, or that pressure to kind of, you know, hurry up and uh, get things done and, you know, try to have a timeline about you know, when's good timing to get this done or that done. So it can be a little stressful. I do want to say enlist the help of those you love um, because I feel like they're just as excited um, and that could actually lead towards some of the extra pressure um, because everybody wants to get a hand in and help out in some way. Um, but I feel like it's going to turn out beautifully. I feel like um, try to spend time just relaxing with your significant other. Um, just try to find those times where the two of you can just laugh and have fun and it doesn't have to involve the planning. I feel like you need both. Um, so it's like take some time to rest and rejuvenate and relax. Um, let this be like a leisurely planning thing as best as you can make it because I feel like it's going to lead to a lot more connectedness to you and your partner versus strain and stress because um, you know you're gonna have a little bit of that anyway. But um, that's what spirit's suggesting. Just kind of take some time to do regular everyday things. Like not every, every moment should be about the planning. Um, even though it is exciting, right? It's like, just make it so that there's time where the two of you can just connect without the pressure of that. Um, go out on a date, go have some fun, go, go to your favorite place or go have a few drinks. Um, whatever it is that you do, uh, go out and dance and have fun with your partner. Um, Go have a picnic. I don't know. Whatever it is you can do that that's fun. Uh, take a day trip. Go someplace you've never been. Um, just keep re-solidifying that connection. Um, and it's going to go very, very smoothly for the two of you is what I'm getting. Okay, so that was a big message. You got it. <laughs> um, I heard ring that bell. And then I'm seeing somebody do one of those punching things at like... Um, a carnival or or hitting the bell um and winning a prize I don't know if it's like it's kind of like showing off um is kind of the energy that I'm getting you might go out on a date with someone and they might be showing off all of their uh their strength and their intelligence this is someone who's laying it on real thick they want you to see all of their amazing attributes um, because they want to win. <laughs> they want to win you. Um, and I heard wing, uh, ring that bell and then I heard win. Um, I saw, oh. Did I see? Yeah, I did see blue. Okay. Um, the color blue could be significant to someone. I know it's one of my favorite colors. Uh, let's see. 
heard irate. So somebody is very, very angry. What's it about? I heard a CEO. Um, somebody could be very angry with a boss. I don't know if a boss took your idea and then utilized it as their own um, without giving you the credit for it. I don't know. There's some type of, I hear, um, dumb effery <laughs> and sneakiness going on here. I don't love that, but um, be careful with your ideas. Um, do try to keep them to yourself. Don't, because um, I hear friends. So I don't know if you have someone who is uh, posing as a friend, but only while it's convenient for them. Um, so just be careful out there. If you have certain ideas, do keep them to yourself. Um, and if you want to express it to uh, the boss or the CEO, um, I would say do that on your time. Don't explain it to everybody else before you, you do that. I, I don't know if it's like somebody stole it and then maybe got credit for what you said and then got a promotion for it. It just seems something very, very sideways. Um, and I'm sorry that you're dealing with that. I hear irregular um, or... I don't know if somebody is going through some medical things where it just doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel normal. Um, I don't know if you've had an opinion already and it just doesn't seem right. Um, you can always get a second opinion, especially medically. Um, and I feel like spirits almost advising that. So if, someone saying this is your only option medically for something, I would say, say definitely look for a second opinion. Um, someone might have something better in mind for you as far as an option for a, a type of treatment or something like that. Is there anything else? No, I, it's just a bunch of little things here and there. Okay, so we'll push these aside for now. Let's pull some charms. What do we have for the collective here? Oh, wow, very little. Oh, that's cute. Okay, um, so either you are the mother or... Um, they're talking about your mother. Um, I feel like you have a really high view of your mother um, or your child has a very high view of you. Um, it's just being crowned as an empress. Um, I hear the matriarch of the family really taking care of everyone and being loved by everyone. Um, I feel like they may be telling you or someone may be telling you how good of a job you're doing or they might just sit down and tell you how much they love you it just it has that energy um or your mother is looking at you and maybe now you're a mother and she's congratulating you on the job that you do um it's, it's got that celebrating mom could be um your mom's birthday could be coming up or you could be planning something for a birthday uh crowning mom the empress or the queen on her birthday could be something really fun could be a major milestone birthday it's kind of what i'm getting just some extra things going on there yeah the matriarch um the elephant that leads the pack she shows everyone how to do things i feel like if anybody's got a question about how something needs to be done they go to mom mom just knows um it could be about i'm seeing how um like my brother or my sister will, will come to my mom and it'll be about house things or it'll be about um what they're trying to create in their life business wise or and it's always like you can always just go to mom and even if it's if she doesn't know exactly how to guide you she can still support you right um and i feel like somebody doesn't hear it enough or um or they they're hearing it and i think that's really beautiful so if mom's not hearing it enough maybe it's time you just let her know how amazing she is i feel like that's just coming through here she needs to hear it um so even if she does hear it all the time, or if she doesn't, maybe you should just let her know how awesome she is. 
moms like to hear that kind of stuff. All right, or and how wonderful she is just being a part of your life and how helpful she is. I feel like it's something like that. All right, so we have a spiritual thing and I feel like this is a spiritual connection coming in. Um, I'm gonna pour, a, I'm just gonna pick up a little more because I want more to it. This might also be someone, sorry, hit the camera. I didn't mean to knock you there. But this might be someone that mom really approves of. Yeah, this might be someone that she feels comfortable with you stepping towards because um, maybe she views this person coming towards you as a leader or someone who can guide you. Um, it's like someone who's got that know-how, someone they feel really comfortable with. Um, they see this person as being a soulmate. I feel like this is mom approved. Um, and if mom has crossed over, just know that mom does approve. Okay, so there's something like that as well. Yeah, there's a depth of love and emotion here and that really tight bond with that soulmate. We have the three knots here, that health, wealth, and happiness. And I feel like um, this is coming in and I feel like it's coming in very, very soon. Uh, to be had by you. I feel like this is someone that your family is going to really love. I don't know if you talk about this person all the time or you're, it's almost like, I don't want to say bragging about this person, but really talking them up. It's like they have all these good attributes. This person might be doing that with their family saying, look at what this person does or look at what they just accomplished or it's like, you're really special. And I feel like um, your family also recognizes this person coming in as being the right type of person, the right fit. Um, I really love that. Gorgeous energy. Uh, doesn't matter. Could be masculine or feminine coming in. I love it. Uh, that is what I have for you. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.